Hello, and welcome to What the Fun Facts with Lily. I'm your host, Lily, and I'm not an expert on anything. Get ready for some of that good, good info for you to impress that person you like. You know, that one. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. I'm back, guys. That finals week was crazy, but I made it out alive. Anyway, welcome to the first episode of Fast Facts. This mini-series is where I talk about fun facts that aren't comprehensive enough for them to have their own episode, but I still wanted to talk about them, so I compiled a few into one bigger episode. I really like finding out about very specific measurements and scales used by people for very specific reasons. One of my favorites is the Waffle House Index. This is used by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, say that 10 times fast, to tell how bad a natural disaster hit an area. A quick summary is that if the Waffle House is going good and everything is normal, it's in the green. If the Waffle House is using its backup generator or its limited menu, it's in the yellow. And if the Waffle House is gone and or destroyed, it's in the red. In finding a source for this fact, I found out that during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, 365 Waffle Houses were in the red. Since Waffle Houses are surprisingly prepared for disasters, it's fairly rare for the index to go into the red. But like always, COVID ruins everything. If you have ever been to a Renaissance fair or seen a movie set in medieval times and seen a sign that says something along the lines of ye old latrines, yeah, that Y in ye is actually supposed to be a thorn. Let me explain. Thorn is a letter that used to exist and it made the th sound. So if read correctly, ye is pronounced just like the word thi. I'm actually really saddened by the death of thorn. It's a funny looking thing that looks like the lowercase letter p and b had a child. It was popular in old English writing. Then the printing press came around and killed it. Long story short, early printing presses didn't have a tile for thorn, so they just used a y because they thought it looked similar? I don't see it, but this replacement and thus mispronunciation caused it to fall into obscurity. What, what a tragedy. Here's a situation that has happened to most of us. You bite into a banana Laffy Taffy and while it tastes great, you can't shake the thought that this doesn't taste like a banana. There is a reason for this, but it's quite the sad tale. So I'm warning you might shed some tears. To start, I need to give some info about how commercial bananas are grown. You may have noticed the black little seeds in the middle of a banana, but if you were to plant these into the ground and treat them like your own son, they will never grow. Bananas have been bred so that their seeds never mature, so you don't have a crunchy banana. In order for there to be more banana trees, you take a bud of sorts from one tree called a rhyme zone and plant that. The rhyme zone looks like a small tree and when taken off and planted grows into an identical adult banana tree. Again, long story short, banana trees are just clones of another banana tree. Many years ago, Gross Michael was the prevailing banana breed. This banana was sweet and super banana-y. When many candies were being created, this banana was what they based the flavor on. Things were going great, but everything changed when the fungus attacked. Because all the trees were genetically the same, they had no natural defense towards the blight, and they were all destroyed. What was left was the Cavendish variety, which, while resistant to the fungus, is objectively inferior to the beautiful Gross Michael. Since people never learn their lesson, it's possible for a new blight to come and wipe out the Cavendish, which then will need to be replaced by an even worse banana, In conclusion, whenever you eat banana candy, do so with respect for the ones we've lost. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow, rate, or whatever you do the podcast you like. Or not. I'm not your mommy. But it'd be really nice of you if you did. And you'll get a double thumbs up from me. As always, have a great day.